Mr. Chair. Oh, uh, Sue Maroney. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the title of this bill is the Health and Safety Reform Act 2014. That's what it will become if it's passed. And um, my colleague Ian Lees Galloway talked about how misleading that title actually is, because what we wanted was we wanted true reform, and now we don't have it, unfortunately. Because what we know about workplace health and safety, and I think probably something we can all agree in this House, is that short, we know that in the workplace, when shortcuts are taken over health and safety, that costs lives. Well, here we are with this government taking shortcuts over health and safety in this bill, it will cost lives. It will cost lives. And all of those members opposite need to think about that because they have now been cast as the villains in this piece. They have been cast as the villains in this piece who have moved to specifically ensure that those people in, in small workplaces, workplaces with fewer than 20 employees, that those people in high-risk industries, like farming, are going to be excluded from having the very best representation. The very best representation. This isn't just because I think it's the very best representation, or because the Labour Party thinks that, or the Green Party, or New Zealand First. It's because the international evidence shows us that when workers get their own voice, when they have a health and safety representative elected by them and trained to, to do the job properly, that that is going to be the most effective foil to improving health and safety in the workplace. That is going to be the very best preventative measure. And many of the submitters that came before the Select Committee said just that. Not only the unions, but many of the businesses came in support of this Act in general and were pleased that the Parliament was united in supporting a comprehensive approach to health and safety reform. That's what the title of the bill was at the outset, and that's what we genuinely believed that all of us wanted to achieve. And that consensus, I've got to say, Mr Chair, being on the Select Committee, that consensus held for a very, very long time. For almost a year and a half, that consensus remained. And then, well, actually, I tell you the minute that I, I, I saw that consensus start to wobble, it's when Judith Collins came and, came and subbed in on the committee one day. She was kind of there by accident, but boy, did she, you know, did she make a change to what was going on in that select committee. Her one accidental visit to that select committee Subbing in for another member, I believe, changed everything. I believe that changed everything because suddenly she was there um, questioning the officials, questioning whether the minister actually had his act together over this bill, and causing mayhem, causing mayhem in the select committee room. And the other MPs from the National Party in that select committee room sat there dumbfounded. They weren't quite sure how exactly to respond. I've got to say, and got to, I've got to say to Jonathan Young, the chairperson, the chairperson of that select committee did an awfully good job of retaining some, some measure of decorum in a chaotic situation for the National Party. But here was one of their, their colleagues questioning the wisdom of whether, we should, whether the, the government should even go down this path at all with health and safety. And that's the minute I heard and saw the consensus start to slip. That was the minute that it happened. And Christopher Bishop laughs, but he's the only one over there that's actually finding that humorous at all. The rest of them Order. are deadpan. <coughs> right. and, um, title and commencement. Title and commencement. Oh, sorry, the title and commencement. So, so, <laughs> right, so the title and commencement. Why I raise these issues is because actually it does all come back to the title about health and safety reform. We genuinely did believe that we were embarking on that journey together as a parliament and, and for almost all of the time that has been the case. It's only been in very recent times that that has changed. And why has that changed? Well, it's changed because of politics. Politics have been put in front of the principle of the best health and safety practices, and everyone knows that. 
Everyone, well, Christopher Bishop seems to be the only person who doesn't know it. But everyone else, Mr Chair, Mr Chair. Oh, uh, Denise Roach. 